So, so what's next? I don't know. Why don't you tell us, Arthur? You know fucking everything, don't you? It just might be a King of Fighters game. Well, which year King of Fighters game? Oh, oh, that's harsh. Um, uh, 2004, no, uh, 2001. Congratulations! You win nothing! Good day, sir. Alright, we have King of Fighters 2001, we have King, uh, King of Fighters 2001 Plus, and then we have King of Fighters 2001 Plus S2. Oh, I yeah. hate the Street Fighter approach to fighting games. Yeah, well this is the thing here. This is where the Chinese people started getting hold of the King of Fighters games. So 2001, 2002, 2004 and so on. They, they all have these crazy special editions that just make no sense whatsoever. 2002, for example, has 2002, 2002 Plus, Plus S2, Plus S3, Magic Plus and Magic Plus 2. I want King of Fighters minus. Minus 21. Well, let's just play the basic King of Fighters 2001. Cool. So, uh, everyone remember what happened last time? No. I'm guessing oh. some guys were fighted. Some guys were fighted indeed. And K got a new glove. But then Tetsuo from Akira appears and kills everyone. No, seriously. So this series is fairly, um, I don't play it, but from what I gather it's pretty hit and miss, where some of them are like really good and then some go really bad. Kinda of sorta. Of. There, there was one a couple years ago that people really, really didn't like. An interesting part about King of Hearts 2001 though is it's not actually by SNK, it's by Aeolith. Oh, those guys. Yeah, those guys. Come on. Oh, hey, today's scores. I wonder if anyone's... <laughs> I'm playing the console version, you idiots. Right, team play. How to play. You now have Slayer moves, by the way. That sounds cool, right? Slayer moves. Slayer moves. Yeah, Slayer moves. Sorry, what did you say? Slayer moves. Oh, I didn't quite catch that. Ha ha ha. Yeah. And basically, in this one, you can call in all of your strikers. You just pick with the joystick which one you want sent in. Does so, this game have uh, Heavy D? Ah, uh, no, it doesn't. I like Heavy D, he's got an exclamation mark in his name. <laughs> uh, Alright, actually, let's just play as the newcomer team here. Basically the Nests team. And Nests is, of course, the evil organization from 99 and 2001, and yeah. We'll just bring everyone in, no strikers. You actually get to pick what in this is? one. You actually get to pick in this one too, how many fighters and how many strikers you want. So if you want to show off towards your friends, you can bring uh, only a single guy and have three different strikers you're standing by in the background to look rad. Strikers? Yeah, basically you can call people in to attack from off stage. What is this? Football? The tempo, as you might already have noticed, have sort of increased from the previous iterations. By like 5 million percent, because they wanted it to be more competitive style fighting. Which naturally also means that I am completely shit out of luck. 
Sorry, where are you meant to be fighting? Because there's just a bunch of girls in bikinis dancing. Well, how about this? I am playing as a Twi'lek from Star Wars. With a... R plastic rapier. That makes sense, right? I like how they deliberately made the bikini girls cheer in such a way that they'll jiggle. And I ran straight into a striker. Good lord, that hurts. I'm not even entirely sure what's going on. The funny thing is that my experience with the King of Fighters games basically ended at King of Fighters 2000. I didn't really play any post that, so... I'm sorry, this is yet another game which is very hard to offer a fresh insight on. And now we will be playing as Tetsuo! The character designer actually even admitted that it's Tetsuo from Akira. Yeah, and if you didn't believe me about the Tetsuo thing, check that shit. I am checking that shit. As you should. Hey, you kids, get off the temple roof, damn it. You're not supposed to be up there. It seems to always be a temp like I played Tatsunoko vs. Cat is around in temple roof level. Well, that's because okay. temples are still a big part of Japanese culture, and you do tend to visit them for various festivals and so on. And you tend to brawl on their roof. Yes, brawl on holy grounds because that's how we do it. I went. I was gonna fight in the church recently, but some dick had demolished it. <laughs> Oops. Oh, hey, uh, it's, it's Hayden. And yes, Hayden is fighting again. You might remember haha, <laughs> that during he sat out 99 and 2000 as he was part of the anti-Nests group. But now that the Nests representatives are actually out in the open and fighting, he's basically decided, hey, why don't I just go right in there? It's not actually against the organization, he just really fucking hates birds. Next up is Angel, who is literally just sex appeal and nothing else. I mean, look at what she's wearing. Oh, that was tricky, Hyder. Very tricky. Oh, wait. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 
felled by a low kick. Shame. There's yes, no dealing with Hydern, is there? Right, let's continue. Uh, CPU's energy as one third, please. And Could let's continue with this. <laughs> let's bring in some new characters, such as Mei Li, new member of the Korea team, and she's terrible as well. Actually, most of the new characters are all terrible in various ways. Use, use the big dirty man. <laughs> no, I'm not going to use Chang right now. Alright, so Mei Li, uh, spunky Korean kid, basically. So that Mei guy's name is K apostrophe? Yep. Why? Because he's a clone of Kyo Kusanagi. Oh, I get it. No, I don't. Well, you should. So yeah, basically Mei Li is a big tittied Korean schoolgirl who knows Taekwondo because Eolis wanted uh, the King of Fighters games to get more of a market share in uh, Korea. And completely unsurprisingly, Mei Li is actually incredibly good. Apparently his name is pronounced K-Dash. That's his full name. <laughs> K-Dash. Reserved for formal occasions. Yeah. That's not how you treat a lady. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> wow! Take down counter! I alone am enough. If you say it's okay. Also, holy shit, you weren't lying, Jesus. He wrecked his face. Right now that we've seen Mei Li, let's just get rid of her. Oh, oh, no, no, that's that's not what I wanted to do at all. Well, this one is going to be tricky. You silly Billy. <laughs> I am a silly Billy indeed. Oh, you're fighting in Italy. Why? Where, where are the green people? That's a good question. Oh shit. Are you trying to sweep it with Joe? Do you reckon it will happen? Well, I got a feeling Joe's gonna win. Well, what if I surprise you? Well, then I fuck guess your I taunt. Positively shocked. Oh crap, Blue Mary. Hate fighting Blue Mary in these games because she uses freaking grappling styles which is hilariously painful to get hit by. Is she the Zangi for the game? Well, ah, like that. She basically had... Whoa, holy crap! Sh sure, why not? God da God damn it! Stop it! Hmm. 
That was too close. Yeah, without me this team's lost, he says. Well, that's mainly because you were the only guy fighting, yo. And why are you mooning the camera? <laughs> why not? Things are really jumping, says the great villain. Because that's something you say when you're a intellectual modern warlord. Things are really jumping. Summon him! Taste of my real power! Wow, they just... Putting one cliché on top of another here, aren't they? Now we're off to Mexico! Fighting nice game. Yeah, nice frame, perfect timing there, Robert. God damn. Ora, ora. Ah, uh, okay. I don't really think I could protect myself from that one since I was still in the animation when it hit. The AI is really showing off its dodging skills here. Oh god. What yeah, noise. seriously. Yuri, shut up. <laughs> no one buys into that cutesy shit anyway. We all know that you're a cold-blooded fucking killer. <laughs> wow. Well. Terry Bogart's the best character. He is. Okay! Well, there's a reason he's sort of a... sort of kind of mascot, so... Edit your team again? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh... Let's have Joe hold up back. No, hey, it's the old women's team. You, woman beater, you. Whoa, wait, that's unblockable? It counts as a hey, grapple? Hey. Oh, I had no idea. Shame. Yeah, had I known, I would probably have, you know, gotten out of the way a bit more. Wow, King is kicking my ass. Jeez, you classy lady, you. 
And then King this like teenage sumo girl. God damn it, seriously. You are such freaking pervert bait, it's not even funny. Can you say that about most female characters in this series? Yeah, but in particular, <laughs> seriously. It's your time. Hey, Arthur. Yes. Fighting games. Yes. All these wonderful fighting games. Ha. You dodged my striker, but you didn't dodge my super hurricane up. No. Wait, what the? Well, not good enough. Also, haha, Shang Fei likes candy, did you know? We've added character traits to make you care. The problem he is. He doesn't you... like candy. Yeah, pretty much. All right, let's see. Who should we pick this time? I don't know. Beardy man. <laughs> Beardy man. All right, Shang Beardy man. Oh, his portrait in this one is amazing, though. Maybe you should just have a beard team. <laughs> beard team. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. There aren't too many bearded guys here, honestly. That's sad. And we have Shin, I suppose. But I don't think there are any more beards, actually. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write in with a complaint, I think. I suppose Lin might have a beard under that thing. Her Snow beard White. is downstairs. Ah, ho, ho, ah, ho, ah, yeah. Ah, pubes. <laughs> I'm sorry, I actually think that's funny. I'm a bit ashamed, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, so Drunken Pervert versus Boobs. Almost perfected it, but... Uh... Pow. Seriously, Hinako, why are they even letting you fight? It's sort of disturbing in a sense. I mean, she's Especially what? Guy. <laughs> yeah, please, keep her away from elderly pervert the Chinese man. You know how these things end. Also, why is she flying? She's floating in mid-air. What's going on? Well... Edit your team again? Yes, we've seen enough of this guy, so let's bring Did everyone say, else in. Did you say this wind gladdens me all over? Yes. Gladdens. Yes. Alright, versus the uh, protagonist team. Uh, oh my god. It's like Scorpion versus Scorpion all over again. Get over here. Get over it. <laughs> Just let go, Scorpion. That was ten years ago. Well, he sort of does, you know, tend not to let things go. But yeah, Lin is a really boring character if you don't know how to play him. 
Oh my god, I think we just confirmed. There is no beard. There is no beard. Oh, fucking, you're letting the team down, man. <laughs> How do you say the capital of South Korea? I'm not going to say it out loud because it's going to turn out that I've been wrong all these years. <laughs> what was your interpretation of the capital of South, South Korea? Well, it's always been Seoul to me. Seoul? Yeah, pretty much. With a, with a bit of an E sound before it, so it's Seoul. Seoul. See, you're making fun of my pronunciation again. No, that was, me, that was me trying it. Like, not that I'll ever end up there, but it's got to be awkward as hell to try and book a flight if you can't say it. By the way, have I re mentioned lately how much I hate Whip? You hate, is her name Whip? Yes, her name is Whip because she uses a whip. What are you, oh, daft? Right, that's ridiculous. You might as well call someone Sir Punch a lot. <laughs> well, how about Chang? Um, is Chang the drunk old man? That was perfect, I think. That was just an excellent finish to that match. The bitch teleports, he grabs her out of the air and just punches the shit out of her. With his head. I've got the chat going mad about the capital of South Korea now. Everyone's wrong. Some people say it's Seoul. No one said it's Seoul. Seoul. There's a lot of... There's no consensus. Hooga 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 indeed, Chang. Hooga hooga hooga. And now we are going on a zeppelin that is literally a ship hanging underneath a blimp. And it turns out that... Oh my god. It wasn't a blimp at all. It was a space shuttle. That's no blimp. And then, so the, and then a lion with red eyes appears, for some reason. Is because it turns boss? out that, oh no, the boss of the last game wasn't the actual boss, it was just a clone of the real him. With an apostrophe on the end. Not even that. Sorry, a dash, apparently. Yeah, not even Japan a dash. A rama. And as it turns out, oh no! Also, by the way, this guy is complete fucking bullshit. It's an SNK boss, of course he is. Yes, but he is particularly bullshit because. Oh. Yeah, basically, his jab is a single frame. So is mine. Bam. So he has this, these amazing freaking long-range anti-air counters and shit. And he com combines that with having ridiculously high defense. All his attacks do ridiculous amounts of damage. And, well, yeah. Oh yeah, and apparently um, Ramon Ramon had a beard. Well, he has a soul patch, sort of. I wouldn't even call that a beard. Soul patch. Yeah, that's what it's called, a soul patch. Capital of South Korea patch. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Seriously, Chang, why are you the best character on the team? It's sort of ridiculous. But yeah, this boss is basically completely ludicrous. 
And the only funny thing about it is that in certain versions of the game, you can actually play as him. That is and pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, it's doubly funny because you still get to pick four team members. Including him. Yes, so you can have four of him. <laughs> Which basically turns every fight into you laughing at the opponent as he dies repeatedly over and over and over and over and over without any chance to defend himself. Let's see, who should we bring? I don't know really. Joe is a given because... You love Joe. Yeah, well the funny thing is that back in the day I hated Joe. But I've played him so much now that I, he is the one I actually have the most decent chance at fighting decently with. And, and he is my son. Well there you go. The truth revealed at last. Alright, we are playing without strikers this time because... Fuck strikers. I think they're an important part of any team. Can't score goals without. Well. And yes, his cloak is actually Devil Wings. Deal with it. There seems to be a thing. They like having. In games, they like having people with capes that are secretly wings. I do like that the lion is a striker. Yes, it's pretty rad. Well, this is going every bit as well as you can be expected. Oh my god, I actually thought that he was going to get the first. Oh my god, and he immediately followed it up with another one. Jesus. Fuck. Goddamn. Ass. Yo, it's all up to you. As, as usual, sadly. It's sort of ridiculous. He is your best Pro character, at least. The problem is that I don't think even Joe is going to be enough this time, because, yeah... This guy basically has perfect anti-air skills, which means that I can't even approach him. And that's the end of the game. Wicked. Wicked sick. Yeah, 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 I know. Shame. A shame. Right, so, the thing is... I wonder how the heck you actually unlocked him. Because I can't quite remember. It's something, like, really stupid. Be believing with all your heart? Not quite that stupid. <laughs> Well, I honestly can't remember how you unlock him, so... Yeah. Contra code? Not the contra code, sadly. Something really simple like... I think in the version I played it was moving to the roulette one and then pressing a certain button or something like that. Elliot probably knows. Elliot knows everything. About this era of video games, at least. Let's just bring Shang's face up, because I love him. Hooga, hooga, hooga. It's just a bit sad that he's he been making successively more and more dumb. I mean, sure, he was always a big dumb lunk, but they literally turned him into a functional retard in the, these last few games. And I don't know. It's a bit of a betrayal against his character somehow. At least they brought Shoi <laughs> back. Hooga. Right, so stream chat, are you giving me anything? How do I play as the big bad boss? Can you remind um, me? Um, we've had up, up, down, down, in, out, in, out, staring at the emulator until it surrenders its secrets. Right, I'm working on number two there. 
believe in the heart of the Neo Geo. Try one of the bootlegs. Actually, you That's know what? That's a pretty good idea. Let's try King of Fighters 2001 Plus S2. Oh boy. This sounds legit as fuck. It's good that the Neo Geo doesn't have many fighting games, because this really fills a niche. Oh yeah. Alright, so, who can we play as? Oh, it says Boss Boss. Well, alright. We'll take... The bosses, I guess. Then we can take Joe. And... Jack. Right, so we'll just uh, bring you in, basically. Hooga, hooga, hooga. Yes. Right, welcome back to Korea, and... Here's the real Zero against King. And yes, he has an attack with such range that he can literally hit the enemy from the starting point. Also, if you haven't realized already, his kick has roughly the same range as... Well, everything. A Range Rover. Yes, exactly. He has the range of a Range Rover. Also notice the Chang cosplayer up there in the middle. So yeah, it was the same teams? Because this was the same girl team from before, wasn't it? Yeah, well, they, they are, as they are shown in the character selection, you know, the official teams, so to speak. Uh, I want to bring out my lion. <laughs> also, hilariously fast jab. If you have a turbo controller, you can literally just hold it down. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Dead, I guess. Yep. Also notice that one of his stri possible strikers is Chrysalid, who died in one of the early games. Right, let's bring in the real boss this time. The actual boss, you see. The boss behind the boss, you'd say. Say hello to Ignis, who is just ridiculous. He is literally an angel. And he fights using monofilament wires, and he has even more ridiculous range on him. And of course he has stuff like that, where he literally just covers the entire screen in death. People are saying that's um, Norio Wakamoto. Yes, it's the, the best voice actor in the world, Norio Wakamoto. Well, this is actually one of only two voices Norio Wakamoto has done for the King of Hearts games, because he voices Rugal in one of the games. Yeah, I'll just kick you from over here without you being able to reach me. That's fun, right? So yeah, basically, bosses. Good times. Not terribly funny, though. Teehee. Teehee. Alright, well, how are we doing for time, my uh, esteemed colleague? It's 25 past 7 for me. 
It's been an hour and 25 minutes. Well then, let's do 2002 as well. I hope the stream chat doesn't mind.